when you're a kid, you see things in a unique and weird way. You learn when your parents are really angry with you. You figure out how to tease your siblings without getting hurt. You go on fantastic adventures with friends at school or in the neighborhood. The world is full of wild and crazy things, some of which you don't realize affect you until they smack you upside the head. The Watson family kids in Christopher Paul Curtis's novel, The Watsons Go to Birmingham, 1963, all see the world differently, until a big family event starts to pull them closer together than ever before. Ten-year-old Kenny Watson calls his African-American family the Weird Watsons, with good reason. Kenny is quite smart for his age, but has to deal with a lot of bullying. His brother, Byron, is a 13-year-old official juvenile delinquent. His little sister, Joetta, is really religious, and his mama and dad grew up in different parts of America before getting married. Kenny's world of Flint, Michigan is cold and rough, but also funny and exciting. Going down south to the state of Alabama to meet Grandma also seems exciting, especially when Dad adds the Amazing Ultra Glide record player to the family car. How will the family react to the trip and to living in a new part of America? This novel is narrated through a ten-year-old boy's eyes, and that took me a while to get used to. I am much older than ten, so I was not able to immediately connect with the things Kenny thought were cool. This did not deter me from enjoying the book, especially once I saw the various hijinks and crazy situations the Watsons family all wind up in. It also did not draw me out of the tragedy of the real-life event mentioned in this novel, the 16th Street Baptist Church bombing on September 15, 1963. Many African-American kids who heard of this attack did not know why it happened, but they understood colored people like them got hurt and died, and that was a bad thing. Kenny, like so many others, is affected by the disaster when he hears the news. It makes him think about things he never had to before. You may know of a similar disaster in recent years that greatly affected you, even if you were thousands of miles away from where it happened. The novel tells Kenny, and the reader, to keep on stepping and move on with your life when bad things happen. Have you been able to do that? The Watsons Go to Birmingham, 1963, does not focus on sadness or suffering. The bad moments swoop in, deal their blows, and then fly away again so something nice or funny can happen. Reading this may not be as entertaining as other historical stories, but its realism and wit made it an impactful read for me. If you want to go to Birmingham with the Watsons, this novel is available to read in the middle school library.